Slight was their affliction, great will their blessings be. God has put them to the test and proved them to be worthy with him. 
He has tested them like gold in a furnace and accepted them as a holocaust. When the time comes for his visitation, they will shine out. As sparks run through the stubble, so will they. They shall judge nations, rule over peoples, and the Lord will be their king forever. They who trust in him will understand the truth. Those who are faithful will live with him in love. For grace and mercy await those he has chosen. The word of the Lord. Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. My soul is thirsting for God. reading, a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. The life and death of each of us has its influence on others. If we live, we live for the Lord, and if we die, we die for the Lord, so that, alive or dead, we belong to the Lord. This explains why Christ both died and came to life. It was that he might be both the Lord of the dead and the living. We shall all have to stand before the judgment seat of God. As scripture says, By my life it is the Lord who speaks. Every knee shall bend before me, every tongue shall praise God. It is to God, therefore, that each of us must give an account of himself. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, Jesus said, Come to me, all you who are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated for a few moments. For many years, Paddy and I have been golfing partners, both here in Royal Tara and twice a year on golfing holidays in England, mostly around Sully Hull, together with Noel Daly. And only last week, Paddy and I had decided that we'd begin our golf season this week in Royal Tara after hibernating for the winter. And now with the sun shining and the daffodils out in all their glory and the ground underfoot firmer, we felt we were ready to continue the ongoing battle. And then, as we know, on Friday evening, Paddy's sudden death shocked us all. How much more you, his family, who were not able to see him until yesterday after the post-mortem had finished. So often we have heard the words of Jesus in the Gospels. Watch therefore, for you know not the day nor the hour. And truly death has come 
like a thief in the night. But for Paddy, the Lord has come, as Scripture says, like the morning sun rising, like today, beautiful sunshine, thank God. Paddy will have heard the voice of Jesus, his brother and friend, saying simply to him, Come to me, and I will give you rest. He had learned from his Lord to be gentle and humble in heart. As we all know, Paddy was quiet and unassuming, patient and kind. We will all miss him very much, and especially you, his family. But we are comforted with the words in today's first reading chosen by the family. Their going looked like a disaster. They're leaving us like an annihilation. But they are at peace. For grace and mercy await those he has chosen. And in our second reading, also chosen by the family, St. Paul says, the life and death of each of us has its influence on others. And this is very clear in the life of Paddy, the influence he had on others. And I'd like to share with you uh, the reflections of one of those who sat at the feet of Paddy and his partner in the Mission Awareness, Sister Nora. So it was John Layden wrote this to me the other day. I quote, I am gutted by the death of Paddy. He played a big role in my life on two occasions. The first was as a theology student. John says, I had reached a point of total frustration with the God, with, I was going to say with the God, total frustration with the theology classes. And then Paddy came on the staff fresh from Rome. And in a word, he had substance. John says, I owe my love of theology to him. And later, in 2010, as I was entering into my 60s, I did the Faith and Mission Renewal course. It was just what I needed. And I was so impressed by how comprehensive it was and so low-key that it seemed not to be such a big deal. But, John says, it was. In many ways, that's who Paddy was, according to John. Low-key, but of great substance. And then he continues, that last sabbatical has sustained me for over 10 years. And I am grateful to Paddy and Sister Nora for all they have done for me and for many others who have benefited from their course. He ends, we have lost a truly gentle man. This is the kind of influence Paddy and Nora had on so many hundreds of missionary priests, sisters, and lay people from all over the world who came to process their own experiences on mission and to be renewed. Paddy, as we say, was totally unassuming and low-key. I think he could made, make Psalm 130 his very own. I will read it. 
O Lord, my heart is not proud, nor haughty my eyes. I have not gone after things too great, nor marvels beyond me. Truly I have set my soul in silence and peace. He was a quiet man. A weaned child on its mother's breast, even so is my soul. O Israel, hope in the Lord, both now and forever. I think that describes Paddy. Finally, after all his years teaching in the seminary and on overseas mission in Peru, and 27 years, imagine, as director of the Faith and Mission Program here in Dalgan, Paddy could well say with St. Paul, As for me, the time of my departure has come. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Paddy, may you now rest in peace. Amen. And now we can all stand for the prayers of the faithful. And I would invite up the following nephews and niece, Stephen, Anne, Owen, and Gavin. Lord, we give thanks for the many blessings you have given to Paddy during his life. May he now share with your saints the joy, light, and peace of heaven, where every tear will be wiped away. Lord, hear us. We remember Paddy and all those who have gone before us mark the sign of faith, especially his parents Tommy and Kathleen, his brother Dan and his nephew Aidan. We pray that they may rejoice with him in the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, hear us. We pray for all of Uncle Paddy's family and their great loss, and for all his relatives and friends that they may be strengthened this time and know the consolation of your love. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Loving God, we pray for the people of Ukraine, for all those suffering and afraid, that you'll be close to them and protect them. We pray for world leaders, for compassion, strength and wisdom to guide their choices. We pray for the world, that in this moment of crisis, we may reach out in solidarity to our brothers and sisters in need. May we walk in your ways, so that peace and justice become a reality for the people of Ukraine and for all of the world. Lord, hear us. And we also remember we have two anniversaries of Columbans. Uh, Ernest Speckhard from New Jersey, who worked in Argentina and Peru. And also for Aidan Larkin, who died just a few years ago from Derry. And he worked in Chile. May they rest in peace. Amen. We bring these prayers and all the prayers that are deep in our hearts, we present them to you, Father, with confidence through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. Holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, 
by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. On the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said a blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said a blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. As we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your Church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance which we like, especially with most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, the glorious martyrs, in Columban, with all the saints, on his constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of reconciliation we pay, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm with faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servant, Harry, whom you have called from this world to yourself, grant that he was united with your son in a death like his. We also honoured him in his resurrection, when from the earth he raised up in the flesh those who have died and transformed our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body. Remember Aidan and Dan and Catherine and Tommy and Father Liam, to all our departed brothers and sisters too, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life. Grant kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, when every tear will be wiped away from our eyes. For seeing you, our God, as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages and praise you without end. Through Christ our Lord, to be bestow upon us all that is good. Throw him with him in him in the 
the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours, all forever. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Sir. And with a simple bow, we offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant them rest. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant them eternal rest. Behold, the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are invited to his table. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my life, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. of the centrality of his work and the overall direction of the society as St. Columbians. We can then reflect uh, on his long-term support for our families over the years since his ordination way back in 1966, at the weddings, at the family masses and the funerals of relatives and at all the community members. He was always available to provide solace and support uh, and the family and community events. 
and his participation was, in many ways, greatly undervalued. At the gentle words, at the controlling hugs, and the ready uh, uh, listening uh, ear for uh, expressions of stress, of stress and of happiness. And uh, listening to Father Martin's review last night of his centrality to the work of the Colombians in reaching out to other nations and communities, and the tributes paid to his participation and his ongoing work of the Colombians in reaching out to, to these people in need, has been in many ways an eye opener. We were probably inclined to minimise the real extent of his commitment to both family and missionary activities. He always seemed to be so available for whatever was asked of him. The biographical section and the mass leaflet on his work and the outline provided by Father Martin at last night's prayer was a revealing tribute to Patty's life as a Columban and a dedicated family man. Uh, we thank the Columbans and all other people who work with Paddy to deepen his experience of a life of service to God and, and to his uh, uh, neighbours and trust that the merciful God will receive him as a good and faithful servant. Uh, uh, may he rest in peace. Uh, and finally, a special tribute uh, to Father uh, uh, Donny Hogan Father Husband and Father Michael Martin uh, for sharing with, with us uh, their appreciation of the work of, of Father Paddy. And uh, we welcome the attendance here today of family and uh, relations, Father Sean Dolan and uh, Father, Father uh, McDevitt, uh, a parish priest uh, of Donahede, uh, where Paddy has worked uh, in support of the parish for a long time. Finally, we thank the Columban community and staff members who provided the refreshments during the last few days to the numerous visitors who came to pay their respects. God bless you all. Thank you. Good morning and welcome to you all. Last Friday evening, not long after tea, I received a phone call to say that Paddy had collapsed. And by the time I got there, I knew the situation was grave. Dave was uh, doing CP CPR on him. I knelt down and I anointed Paddy. The suddenness of his passing shocked you, his family, and all of us here in Dalgan to the core. On behalf of the Dalgan community and on the wider Columban family, I wish to offer you, his family, my sincere sympathy to Mary and to Annie, to Johnny, Noel, Hugh, Eugene, Brian, Liam, and Kevin, and to the extended do her family, our sympathies and prayers. And now I invite you to stand. Before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our brother. May our farewell express our affection for Paddy. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet him when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys death itself.
Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our brother Paddy in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, he will raise with him on the last day. We give thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon Paddy in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn towards us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us who remain to comfort one another with the assurance of faith until we all meet again in Christ and are with you and with our brother forever. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In peace, let us take our brother to his place of rest. You shall cross the barren desert but you shall not die of thirst. You shall wander far in safety, though you do not know the way. You shall speak the words in foreign lands, and they will understand. You shall see the face of God. Son and of the Holy Spirit. Our brother, Father Paddy, has gone to his rest in the peace of Christ. May the Lord now welcome him to the table of God's children in heaven. With faith and hope in eternal life, let us assist him with our prayers. Let us pray to the Lord also for ourselves. May we who mourn be united one day with our brother. Together may we meet Christ Jesus when he who is our life appears in glory. And from the scripture, may our brother hear the voice of Jesus saying, Come, you that are blessed by my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Like the deer that bears for 